Hey, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 The Lost Crown of the Iron King DLC walkthrough. This is a real walkthrough, not a playthrough. And last time we left off at uh, lighting this bonfire. And yeah, pretty much cleared out the first part of the DLC. Little upper floor and now we're in the, the in the tower itself, so Let's let's explore and find more bonfires and hopefully we don't get our asses kicked. Alright, so transition through this fog door. It's not a boss fight, so don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can get these elevators going on uh later on after we <laughs> after we light the thing down there, right there. We gotta get a key for that though. And after that, we can start getting the contraptions happening. But for now, uh, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna have to take the ladders down. All right, this guy, the the bomb guy, barrel bomb dude. We're just gonna leave him alone. We're not gonna kill him, cause down there you see that big ass guy right there. He has like lava spewing out of his. Um, arms well near his shoulder maybe his shoulder pad or something like that and once those barrel guys get near him boom <laughs> yeah that's why you, you want to spare those barrel guys and not kill them and there is a there's a door over here but it's locked so yeah I'm not even gonna bother so later on after after we get the tower key we can access those doors but for now they're locked and there's nothing we can do about it, uh, except to try and go grab the tower key. And in this room, there's more of these sparrow dudes, and let's see if they go down. Go down. Go. 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 Come on. Anyone else? You guys are not going to go down? No? Alright, then if you don't go down, it's your funeral, man. Alright, so that's that. And there we got another one of those... Um... Nadalia... Curse things, or... Things, I don't know what that is. But, yeah, we're gonna have to use one of our smelter wedges for that. But first, let's let's trigger everybody. Climb down and climb up. Get everybody all happy. I'm just gonna cheese these guys. They're not much of a threat. The biggest threat at the moment is the big dude. He's my biggest concern because he can two shot me. So. That's the only thing I'm worrying about. But usually he doesn't pull any like combos. He does have two hit combos. Mostly just like a swing, one hit combos. A swing or an overhead attack. That's what he usually does. And other than that, he doesn't really do much. Where's the barrel guys when you need them? I mean, if I can't get the barrel guys, I can just all... I can always poison this guy to death. He's poisoned. All right. Uh, hopefully someone blows his ass up because <laughs> if I'm just gonna wait for the poison, it's gonna take forever. Blow him up! Blow him up! Come on! There we go. All right. Finally. All right. So just gonna drop down here. Archer, right there. Be careful. Also, we got a jackass upstairs chucking down firebombs. Oh, shit. Wait, is he still alive? Oh, what the fuck? I thought I killed the arrow guy. Die. Thank you. Life gym. Oh, if you guys are wondering what happened to all those leftover souls I have. Uh, the souls from the last video. I used them to buy more poison arrows. That's that's why I used everything I 
all the souls that I've earned from the previous, like from the last video, I used all the souls to buy poison arrows. And let me see if I can snipe this guy to death. Hi. On. You know what? Screw you. All right, gotta be careful about this chick over here. Yep, especially the firestorm. Gotta watch out for them firestorms. I don't know. I thought she was just gonna coat the armor or something onto the the soldiers, but I guess there was no soldier around. That's why she just she would jump straight into the fire, the firestorm. This guy needs to knock that shit off. Another one of the Dahlia souls. Let me just grab up all these pickups before I leave. Playing quads ring three. And see ya bitch. Yeah, if you're dealing um this part with NG Plus, there's gonna be like a red phantom with over there. So be careful about that. But you can just deal them um kill take them out with arrows. Now for this this part right here, don't fall for the trap because obviously this is a guy that's gonna spawn right here. Oh. Nope, only one hit. Yeah, I can never be too careful about him. Because he sometimes goes for one hit, sometimes goes for two hits. So five that was only a one hit. I was expecting a two hit, but I'll take that one hit. I'll take it. I I'm not happy about it though, but I'll take it. And then we can grab up all the loot here. Next part we got we got more well we got some sorcerers going on. More like miracle user. We got some miracle users and then we got some ambushes happening up front, so let's take out the miracle user first. And I don't know if this is a chick or a dude. Fell. Yeah, it's still alive. Take him out. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're gonna see more of these guys later on. You can also get their set by killing them too. I've only managed to obtain the, um, the chest, the boots, and the arm on my main character. Uh, never got the helmet. I don't know if you can get the helmet from them though, so. And once you approach this part right here, you're gonna get a little ambush. There's gonna be a guy like that's gonna spawn over here. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Die! Your turn. Come on, come here. Yeah, today it's... Uh, I'm recording this like a 9 a.m. <laughs> I woke up like 5 a.m. this morning. I don't know why. Probably because I slept super early last night. And... I don't know. Feel... Still feeling a little bit drowsy. And obviously we got one of those faith users on the other side over there. And we got a halber over here. Halber guy. Come on, halber hal hal guy. And yeah, those casters, they have two kind of like ranged attacks. They have like a little lightning bolt, lightning ball that just, you know, goes straight. And then when it hits something, it, it, it just it just disappears. And then sh they also have this other one where obviously you can see this little AoE effect once it hits something, anything. It hits you, hits the wall, hits the floor, and then it'll trigger this AoE thing. And if you get too close, they can also teleport and they can also backstab you, so be careful about that. Uh, although the backstab animation does look pretty sweet, but I don't want to get hit by it though. But it does look pretty sweet. So basically he just stabs you and then like he slits your throat. So I don't know, that. to me that looks really cool because I mean, there's no animation like that in this game. And also you guys can get his armors. I mean, wait, I said that. 
You guys can get his weapons. I mean. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, heal up. In there, there's gonna be another bonfire, but I'm just gonna clear out these guys first before I go and take on the bonfire area. Oh! There you go. And Mr. Archer Dude, hello. Oh, you still alive? Come on. I wonder if we can parry these guys. I don't know. I suck at parrying in this game, so <laughs> I don't know if you can parry. I know you guys can. A lot of people mentioned to me that you guys can parry the pursuer, but I wouldn't know because I have never tried. And watch out when you get to these point, okay? I know. It, so you guys know that if you walk over these these ash corpse, you know they disappear, and sometimes they'll cough up a a loot, an item loot, but. Watch out for this part because there's a little ambush right there. If you walk too close, there's going to be a guy that jumps out right there. And then there's the same shit for the other side too. So, see? So, be careful with that. Especially people that has um, that's playing this, this game on a higher NG. Higher playthrough. Yeah, there's a, there's a high possibility for like one-shotting if you... If you get hit on the super high uh, playthrough, which I, I wouldn't know because I haven't tried that and I don't know if I will. Uh, most likely not because it's just too much of a hassle. Um, yeah, if you guys watch my Majestic Great Sword, you guys can obtain it over there. I don't want to go there just yet because there's going to be an item that I we can get. And it's gonna help us with curse resistance, so yeah, not gonna bother going over there and risk getting cursed. But I will uh, go through that little part though later. But just not right now because we're we're not ready for it yet. Now, uh, bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. It's right over here. You can light this bonfire. And um, where's the pickup? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I was like, man, I remember seeing a, a corpse here, but where where did it go? And um, I asked you guys a question, and it was about if you guys like long videos or short videos, and you guys answered. Well, two of you guys answered. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else wanted to answer but I'm just gonna assume everyone is gonna want the longer videos and I, I won't make videos like super long on purpose I'm the base like the way I make my walkthroughs are I base them off a of level but some some levels are really long so I was wondering if people would like them but there's two people that said that they like them and I'm just gonna take it that everyone likes them since nobody's saying nobody's disagreeing with them so I'm just gonna assume that's a yes and I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, but if I do make a video short, it's it's based on the level, you know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like combine two levels together, because then it'll mess up my my way of explaining stuff. Man, you can hit these freaking horse heads. They can actually move the flame door, and that's pretty cool. Burn, bitch! You still alive? Come on. Just stand back a little bit more, man. Stand back a little bit more. Ooh. Okay. Nope. Yeah, this AoE thing is really annoying. Just because it has a freaking Y ass range. You're done. And obviously, you don't want to go through a fire because you'll get fried. Next part here, there's going to be a little ambush right there. Once you move over there, there's going to be a thing that spawns. And we can just kick his ass. 
Yeah, they they don't do well against close combat. And once they teleport, they always they always teleport behind you, okay? And you gotta wanna be careful because if you don't do something about that shit, it's gonna be a backstab. And you don't want that happening to you because it's gonna hurt. And if you're getting ganked, then chances are you're gonna die right when you recover. Now, this part, uh, I'm just gonna try and fry this guy over here. Can you die, please? Okay. And then we're gonna have to take out this guy. Manually. Goddamn AoE, man. I don't know if I should waste poison arrows on this guy. Jesus. Come on! Stop whacking me with that shit. Pure headshots, let's go. Okay, move it. Let me just open this up, because we're going to need to open this up. Now, let me explain a little bit about my strategy at this point here, because we're going to need to go through that strategy in a bit. Big boy, okay? Big boy spewing out lava. Barrows. Boom. We bait him over. <laughs> it's as simple as that. But it's kind of difficult, because... Uh, over there, there is a switch to unlock this gate, and you guys can risk... Trying to open up the, I mean, trying to pull the switch, but he's right there. And the moment you walk over there, he's gonna like, he's gonna get alerted already. So, it's a bit of a risk trying to go over there and unlock the door and then bait him over. And hopefully he'll pop, like explode himself. So what I like to do is, when I trigger him, I'll run back and then I'll come out this way. And then hopefully these guys will blow him up. So that's my tactic, that's why I'm doing this shit. And oh, one of those uh, casters dropped something for me, and that's pretty nice of him. Oh. Except the lightning ball, I don't really ap appreciate that. Did he die? Alright. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this up. Oh, sweet, I just got the dagger. Let's uh, read up the description then. Since we did get the dagger, where is it? Ooh, it has S scaling. Holy shit. I didn't even know that. Huh. So I guess, uh, it's good for backstabs. Alright, so. Moving on. Come on, fire. Cooperate. Yeah, this is kind of the pain part here because you have to wait for the fire and stuff. But let's get the strategy happening. Hello! Alright, and then I make a beeline over here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. You following? Good. Walk over here. This way, sir. Spew lava on the left side, please. Thank you. <laughs> you know, last time... There's like a... Ooh, what the fuck was that? Smelter hammer? Wait a minute, did I just see that right? Where is that? Holy shit, I never got this before. And obviously, he's weighing me down. Oh, I can't even run. Look at how heavy this shit is. Holy shit. Damn. Let's, let's check out the stats. I don't... I don't know. It has a C scaling for strength. And it requires 70 strength. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Damn. And it weights 35. Alright, let's get I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh wow, well, I didn't even know they dropped that, because all I've ever gotten from them it's the um, it's their mask. So yeah. I never got the weapon before and this is my first time getting it, that's why I was really surprised. Now my story before I got uh, distracted by that hammer. Uh, last time, like the barrels were all here, and I baited that guy over in one of my practice runs, and then he blew up every single barrel in this room. But the funny thing is, he barely took any damage. Like his his HP bar barely moved, and I'm like, wait, he just took all that and he fucking survived. Are you shitting me? But yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. 
And I was so confused too because every other time he just freaking died. But that one time he freaking survived from all the barrel in the room that blew up. He freaking survived. I was so amazed. God. If, you, if there was like a face cam, you guys will see how like freaking shocked I, I looked. And then I got killed afterwards, after, you know. Because I was just so in shock. I'm like, he just survived all of that and... I'm not... I, I'm gonna kill him with my blade? Come on now. And then... I don't know. I wasn't even trying and... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I was just so amazed by the, by the fact that he survived all those barrels and... I couldn't believe it. But, uh... After that, I just killed them with blade in the next round. I mean, they're not hard to beat because they're pretty slow. They, they only do one-hit combos most of the time. And you can just easily dodge him and then, you know, get like two, two hits in. And they take a lot of damage from physical attacks. And yeah, it's pretty easy to take them down with a blade. But it's just that if you guys miss the dodge it will take away a lot of health more than half most of the time you know like one hit from those guys like more than half or half of your hp is gone and the second hit you're done so that's the risky thing about taking one with the uh with close combat but if you guys do manage to take um dodges dodges uh dodges attacks if you guys do manage to dodge his attacks then those guys are a piece of cake. You don't even need like barrel guys. You don't even need like poison arrows. You guys can just take them down with swords. And like professional guys that like to dodge and shit. It's it'll be easy. I I could do it, but I just don't want to. That's that's how I got through those parts with my strength build. Cause I just I didn't want to use a shield, but I'm just rambling here. But yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up this video for now. And next, in the next video, we're going to be obtaining the, the, the key, uh, the Spectrum key, I believe that's what it's called. And we're going to activate all these, all these elevators, and we're going to be able to get some good treasures, awesome treasures, and it's going to help us out throughout this DLC. So yeah, uh, I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Alright, Holmes out.